in my own leadership philosophy, there are four key points that I try to reinforce with leaders at all levels. First of all, keep your honor clean. Uh, you've got to live by the Army values. You've got to live by our warrior ethos, and every decision and every act uh, has to be in concert with those values and that ethos. And if you do, you'll always be on firm ground. Uh, number two is to live on amber. And what do I mean by that? Be ready. Ready for anything. Physically ready, mentally ready. Um, because you, as a soldier in our Army, you've got to be ready for anything. Number three, act with disciplined initiative. I really want my subordinates to follow their orders and follow their plans as long as they are still working and are pertinent to the situation. The minute those plans or orders no longer apply, I want them to be some smart enough to realize that, smart enough to come up with a plan that will work, and then have the guts enough to do it. And then last is to lead by example. And I tell young privates all the time, um, a lot of American people, they don't know a corporal from a colonel. They see that uniform, they see that U.S. Army tape, they see a leader, even if you're a private. And I also tell those young privates that back home, there's someone that looks up to them as a leader. It might be a brother or a sister. It might be a niece or a nephew. It might even be someone older than them who looks at them and says, God, I wish I had the guts to do that when I was their age. So even young privates are leaders, leaders in training. They're leaders in fact, and they have to lead by example.